Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy Gaming. So last night I decided it would be an interesting idea to run a very small experiment on my YouTube commenters over on Chippy's couch. I recently watched and enjoyed a fantastic video from RT Game, which involved him flying around his Minecraft server that allowed 100 people to build on a single chunk. The results were hilarious and it looked like a great time. And judging by the 7 million other people who watched it this week, I think everyone agrees. Now, RT is a very large streamer and YouTuber, so what's underneath those streams is a handful of moderators and server plugins to make sure everything runs smoothly and no bad players slip through the cracks. And that's what makes them so enjoyable to watch, so shout out to good moderators. So my experiment was to see what might happen if I was to leave a Terraria server open completely to the public without a single plugin, a moderator, or even a set of rules, and this would mean it would only take one person to join and completely destroy the world. It would take them seconds. So I purchased a Terraria server and left a pinned comment on my most recent Chippy's Couch video and invited people to join for the next 12 hours. No rules, no moderators, no plugins. My theory is that the whole world would either be destroyed or completely vandalized. So what you're looking at right now is the world that I left behind. I decided it'd be fun to greet the first players that joined alongside Chaos, and then that was it. I logged off and I went to bed, and what we're about to look at now is my live reaction to exactly what went on in this world. It's interesting. So I'm actually recording this the second I've woken up. I was that excited. I went to bed and genuinely had trouble sleeping. I just wanted to know what was gonna happen. So we're going to go into this. I'm using basically the Heroes mod to make sure that I can fly around and reveal the map and make sure I've seen everything. And I also had the server make backups every two hours. So if it's completely destroyed, we'll be able to look at what people made before it was destroyed. I'm honestly so nervous. I'd feel really bad if people built and then somebody just destroyed it. I'd feel pretty awful. All right, let's jump into this. Oh, wow. Look at that. I didn't think it'd have a floor. Me and Chaos both said, bring a UFO mount. It probably won't have a floor. People have actually built. I'm actually really surprised. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. It's the Domino's Rolex. <laughs> this is Chippy Gaming, so I don't know if anybody's going to know this. But on Chippy's couch, I uh, spit Rolex trivia whenever possible. And my favorite one... It's the Domino's Rolex. Somebody's actually built it. Wow. Look at all these tombstones. People didn't bounce. Somebody, <laughs> look at that. PvP was going on. Oh my god. I really didn't believe there'd be a world to look at. I thought, no floor, completely destroyed. Chippy's ultimate couch of non-modded. Terraria enthusiast. House by Nizato. Mason. This is really cool. People have even signed everything. Chippy's couch. Chippy is the only person to sit on the glorious couch. Why, thank you. How is this made? Oh, it's just a, a red sofa. Wow. I've had 51 signs around the world. Find them. Dominic's Ro <laughs> Domino's Rolex died for our sins. The Bible. Warning, this is a very big hole. <laughs> Did somebody actually make a giant hole? Oh, okay, right. This <laughs> this is what I expected. It's actually got water at the bottom. What? That is a very large hole. Okay, we're going to teleport back up because I don't have a recall potion. All right. Well, there's so much here. Let's have a little look. This teleporter leads to all of the builds in the world. Each switch is to a different one. People have organized it. Are you joking? Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, this is really cool. This is really nice. This seems like something Chaos would build. Who built this? Made by Reapy Cosmic Shy on Steam. Also check out my other builds on my profile too. Hope you like them. Found me. Ah, look at that. This is the dude that left the signs. Well, all right. Let's see if it if it works both ways. Oh, look at that. It does. So what's this? This is a um, a windmill by Nizato. Ooh, I like this one. This one's very cool. This one's very... I didn't expect people to actually be good builders. <laughs> I thought these are my fans. Yeah, they're not going to be good builders. I'm bad at hiding. Easy. Somebody's been found. Look at this. 
Now this is like, this is my level of building right here. Kid fast build, please leave a like and subscribe, rum. I love it. I love you guys shouting yourself out as well. Why not? Why not? Okay, so what's over here then? Oh my god. This one's probably my favorite so far. This one looks really nice. What's this sign say? Pray for surviving spawn. Wow. Created by Nerf Yazo, please. Cool. Is that, <laughs> is that a giant pile of coins? Is that what that is? Only Chippy can destroy the pile with a draw containment unit. All right, I did bring one, so. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do this. That is awful. What a noise. Oh my God, that is, that's torture. And it came with an unpleasant Terrarian. All right. <laughs> There's so much here. It's way bigger than I thought it would be. This is spawn, right? So what's this up here? Truffle Island by Blue Boy. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. It's nice that you added the um, the art so that, you know, you don't float into space. And none of it's griefed. None of it is griefed. That is mental. People have organized it. Nothing's griefed. I've got the best, I've got the best commenters going. I really do. The island deserves some mad credit. Yeah, it does. It does deserve mad credit. I'm glad you guys shouted yourselves out. I didn't get to read that one. So what's this say? Here lies no karma. Yes, in a chest. Good luck pronouncing this name. <laughs> yeah, you know me well. Oh, it's a trap chest. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's funny. That's good. I enjoyed that. <laughs> All right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reveal the map now. So there's a cool little trick with the heroes mod where you can reveal the map. This is how I make thumbnails actually because I always like to look for certain spots in the world that I think are going to be nice in the little thumbnail. So let's have a little look on the map so we can see how large the hole is. The hole is very large but there's also a house at the bottom. Look at you. How do we get inside? Alright, I think you get inside over here. Somebody's already died here. This is not a good sign. I'm so sorry, I accidentally broke the sign replacing walls. I meant to work around it, but I messed up. Hopefully this person has made other stuff for credit. I believe Ranger is the creditor due to the grave. Yeah, probably so. Probably so. You guys are so nice. Artificial snow biome. Warning, it's really chilly in there. We actually use this thing to keep our food from going bad. It's just a freezer. <laughs> Cool. All right. Somebody made a freezer. That's banging. What's this over here? Oh, this looks really nice. This wasn't hooked up to a teleporter. That's really cool. I like this one. This one's nice. Is there anything over here? This is where I thought people would try and hide builds. I thought if there are griefers, people will probably hide them at the end of the world. So what's at the end of this part? Welcome to the Terrarian Coaster. Somebody built a roller coaster? What? Okay, do I have to join over here? Let's see how good this is. One of my favorite things when I was a kid, no joke, was to join Minecraft servers and try and build roller coasters. Back when like Terraria was in its beta and it just added the uh, the minecarts, I was like, that's me fam, that's my gimmick. I build roller coasters. The laundry room. <laughs> cool. P.S. I broke it, Terraria enthusiast. We need a world download. I am actually, because you guys obviously put work into this, I'm going to leave a link to the world down below so that if you took part in this, you can have the world forever. I mean, you definitely, you definitely deserve it. So I did actually check the console. There was about 150 to 200 people that joined over the course of the 12 hours, but not that many people stayed. A lot of people joined, looked around, they left. Understandable. What's the name of the cloth here, everybody? Oh, come on now. You had one job. You had one job. James the Cloth Year. How could you get that one wrong? <laughs> there wasn't time to keep name farming. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I think this is this is amazing. Oh my god. What is this? It looks like a giant potion. Ice globe created by Joris. Look at that. Joris's snow globe home. And did I check this one out? Oh, I didn't. Okay. I pray the pirates don't find me here. Also found me. 
This was made by Mr. Yeast 6900. I hope you like it. I came when there was only three hours left, so I couldn't decorate it or light it up very well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, this is cool. It's like um, a more simpler version of the Chaos Castle. Yeah, you did a good job. I like that you obviously tried with these walls as well. It looks better than anything I could make. This was made by Mr. Yeast. All right. So just a couple of small ones before we round things off. Hi, and welcome to the useless Solidifier Shrine. It is well known for its off-center sign. P.S. This shrine was built by 07 Chippy But Better and Terraria Enthusiasts with the help of Dam Keel at times. And then apparently he's got an alternate name. I'm not surprised. Because it's got 07 in both of them. So this must have been his starter home. This was really, really cool. I'm so glad I did this. You guys, without a doubt, kind of blew my expectations out the water. I thought this was going to be a nightmare. I thought it was just going to be a massive destroyed world with no creativity. But clearly, like, all the signs, you all kind of collaborated and did a lot of stuff together. I saw the console and loads of people were chatting all of the time. This was absolutely amazing. Thank you, guys. So I think that's going to round it off for my experiment. If you enjoyed today's video and you'd maybe like to take part in one of these in the future, make sure you subscribe to Chippy Gaming. By subscribing to Chippy Gaming, you're in the one-stop place for all your Terraria needs. I think in the future, we might actually do a couple live streams and see what we can do with the server. I own one now, so it's got kind of endless possibilities. But I think for now, guys, that's going to end it for today. Give the video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as I said, you can download the world in the description. And thank you to everybody that joined. See you later, guys. Peace.